As October is coming to a close, that leaves us with just two months left to pick up some of our most iconic sets that are unfortunately retiring soon uh, on the Lego Shop at Home website and in stores. Now, unfortunately, with Lego retiring, you guys do know, if you don't know, they do have price escalations like absolute crazy so that's kind of why you we make these lists so you can get these sets before they escalate in price in the aftermarket so if you're interested in my top five sets that are retiring hit that subscribe button like this video because in one way or form i need to retire just like lego i'm just kidding guys but anyways what's up my name is christo aka stud city and i have put together my top five lego sets retiring in 2022 to kick things off i'm starting off with the 1989 batwing uh if you know me, this will definitely be a shocker because you guys know I'm not a Marvel or DC fan, superhero fan in general, and I incorporated the Batman Batwing into this top five list because I think it is a great valued set. This set retails for $200, comes with almost 2,400 pieces, which is quite a lot. It comes with like three awesome, awesome minifigs. I think the Joker in here really sells me on it. Uh, I do not have this set. This is why I'm incorporating it. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. The way they display this set... Uh, I just, I can't get over it. And I think it's definitely on my top five because I, I really do want it. And that's coming from a non-superhero fan, uh, no emotional attachment to Batman. Uh, I just I simply love the Lego set. Uh, it looks incredible incredible on a wall um and i think that's very interesting that lego has incorporated that as well as they also can display it on a stand uh it hops off to lego they really did a fantastic job with the set and i think when it retires it's going to go absolutely crazy in the aftermarket uh with that being said let's move on to number four which is the elf clubhouse uh and this set is actually unavailable at this time from lego shop at home which is unfortunate i think a hundred dollars for this set is quite reasonable it comes with a light up light four elves and a reindeer if it's into the christmas theme holiday uh their winter village sets they did a, such a good job i love their winter village sets uh they've really added so much detail over the past couple years that i think every single one of them is amazing and they do very well in the aftermarket uh but as far as a lego set and lego model it's great for the holiday season uh and just something i kind of want in my collection so it's definitely worth it for the hundred dollars now like i said it's not available on lego shop at home but definitely check your local stores like target or walmart bringing in at number three is another one that is unfortunately out of stock at the shop at home website uh so you'd have to source it from your local lego store or from online purchase somewhere else uh, but it is going to be the imperial star destroyer out of stock six hundred dollars of madness uh seven hundred dollars of madness my correction there uh it is another big gray ship from star wars but i know it is iconic it is a ucs set which is ultimate collector series the magnitude of how big this thing is 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 quite you know extravagant right uh so it's definitely making it on my list i don't know if i'm gonna get this one it's just a really lot of money and i if i was gonna spend 700 dollars on lego i i just think i would divvy that money up into something else but i do really really want it uh so it's still in my running and that's why it's on my top three now my number four is the one two three sesame street which again unfortunately is out of stock on the lego shop at home website uh but honestly i've seen this one all over at our targets uh it is priced pretty decent um the i mean the minifigures are all exclusive right to the one two three sesame set it is a part of the lego ideas theme uh and in my opinion you know, buying six or seven of these instead of the Imperial Star Destroyer, gosh, it would, you know, you could sell them and buy a <laughs> Star Destroyer when it when this thing retires. Uh, I really is, do think something like this is going to go very well. It's such an awesome set, such an iconic piece of history, and it's so awesome to see Lego make it, uh, which takes us to our absolute number one is no surprise, the Disney Castle. And it is, of course, out of stock, but it is re retiring here in December uh, as we kick into January of 2023. I did pick up one of these copies, got an absolute great deal on it. If you guys have been updated and see that video, uh, I think I ended up getting like $70 off through, you know, 10% through Lego, 10% through Rakuten and all the promos. So even probably more, but uh, something that was really interesting about this set was the Tinkerbell. Uh, God, it's exclusive to the set as is, I think, a couple of the other minifigs, but I know the team Tinkerbell is absolutely crazy because uh, one of my friends, Copper, uh, he shared that this bitty fig alone is going for $90 in the aftermarket. So that's of almost a third of the cost uh, of this beautiful, beautiful uh, Disney castle. But definitely a set I want to get even a second copy of before it retires just because how great it really is. So definitely put that 
on my top number one list. Now, I also threw a couple small sets off of the stragglers uh, that I just think are great sets to have and I enjoy. Um, I threw in Boba's Fat Helmet. I threw in the Scout Trooper Helmet because, I mean, they perform in the aftermarket and are great Lego kits to have into your collection. Uh, and then one that's absolutely probably shocker is the Command Station. Uh, now, I know it says they are retiring this, but gosh, a one-year lead time that's uh, <laughs> and it's never in stock is crazy. Uh, but that's going to do it for my top five list. Let me know what your top five is in the comments below. And as always, have a fantastic day. My name is Christo. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.